Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today. And today we're going to be breaking down the best held items for every single Pokemon in Pokemon Unite and which items you should be using your super item enhancers on, which items are the best to get to level 30, and so on and so forth. This was probably one of the most highly requested videos on the channel in a while. And a lot of you guys are asking for a little bit of guidance on which items you should be using. So again, we're going to break down every single Pokemon and what the best held items are for each Pokemon right now with the new addition of weakness policy and razor claw and of course uh the new choice specs item and of course i know you guys are looking to use your super item enhancers and what you want to use that on so if this video is helpful be sure to hit that like button down below and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as i do post pokemon videos every single day and you don't want to miss out i also stream pokemon unite every day on twitch.tv slash a drive we've got some tournaments coming up and all sorts of stuff so tune into my live streams if you want to see me play i play a bunch of different characters primarily crustal venusaur and a handful of others so it'll be a lot of fun so so let's jump into the video let's break down every single item I, I actually pulled some friends about this i asked a couple discord servers because again i don't play every single character i think we actually have a really really good list here and you can check the description below or look at the uh kind of chapters or bookmarks on the video if you just want to skip ahead to your favorite hero let's not waste any time let's jump into it all right so the first hero we're going to talk about is blastoise so what i'm going to do throughout this video is i'm going to give you generally five maybe six different held items for each pokemon and you can experiment with three of them that you think make the most sense on Blastoise, you're going to want to run Buddy Barrier, Focus Band, Score Shield, potentially Muscle Band, and Energy Amplifier. Now, I'm going to make a note that Energy Amplifier is currently bugged right now, so it doesn't give you the proper Ult Charge. So, I would say Muscle Band is really good for its basic attack. Um, when I mention Muscle Band, I know you're going to be like, oh my god, but this is a special attacker. What you got to realize is a lot of times Muscle Band isn't used for the attack boost, but rather it's used for the secondary effect of increasing your attack speed. And on certain Pokemon like Blastoise and Venusaur that have really strong basic attacks, you want to be able to utilize those more effectively uh but honestly a focus band is kind of a must on this dude score shield buddy barrier you're gonna see a lot of buddy barriers in this video um and again i do i do have a shout out to energy amplifier for blastoise as well the next hero we'll talk about is blissey blissey really benefits from focus band buddy barrier you can make an argument for score shield as well wise glasses which you might be like wait why would you run wise glasses but the way blissey's healing works is it actually scales based off its special attack so by using an item like wise glasses you actually heal more and then i think there's also a lot of merit for experience share on this character especially if you're playing on a coordinated team so again i'll mention five items for each mon if you're playing solo xp share probably isn't going to do you much justice if you're playing with a team you can kind of coordinate those last hits on on the mobs and ultimately kind of benefit the experience share the most on a character like blissey so again focus band buddy barrier score shield wise glasses for scaled healing and then of course experience share if you're playing with a team up next is gardevoir gardevoir can benefit from choice specs which is the newest item that really does a lot of damage with special attack focus ban is almost essential for the early game because of how frail rolts and curlia are it gives you a little bit of longevity there buddy barrier is a good pick on pretty much every pokemon and then you can also make an argument for wise glasses i wouldn't really make a ton of uh kind of focus on scoring for gardevoir simply because again it's so frail it's very hard to score with this character so i would tend to look at those items focus ban wise glasses buddy barrier choice specs on Gardevoir. Zeraora is an interesting pick that can run out a multitude of different items. We're looking at things like Buddy Barrier for team support, Razor Claw for increased crit and movement speed drops, Muscle Band to increase that basic attack speed, uh, Score Shield, uh, and Attack Weight, and Aos Cookie. We actually have six items for this mod. The reason being is because Zeraora can be run a couple different ways. If you're running lane Zeraora, so you're sending him either top or bottom lane, he can kind of function like a Lucario, and you can actually take advantage of attack weight and AO's cookie stacks. So while it's not something that I've played a lot, but there is an option, right? You can add to a lot of bulk on Zeraora. I'm not really going to recommend AO's cookie a ton, but this is a character that actually could utilize it. Um, if you're running score shield, you'd want to pair that with an attack weight or with AO's cookie. Um, muscle band, razor claw, buddy barrier, all really good options on Zeraora, especially in lane. Pikachu's up next, and Pikachu really benefits from Energy Amplifier, being able to boost those attacks uh, after ult, uh, after using its Unite move. Focus Band, really, really good for early game, uh, being able to survive those hits. Choice Specs, Wise Glasses, and Muscle Band. Again, this is a Pokemon that utilizes Muscle Band because of its basic attack speed. Increasing that basic attack speed can increase the a chance of getting those boosted autos and get those stuns off, which is really valuable. I've been running, actually, lately, Choice Specs, Wise Glasses, and um, an Energy Amplifier on this. Uh, also a shout out to like i said focus band i think muscle band has a, has a place here as well buddy barrier as well I, I don't know if i have that i actually don't have buddy barrier so that would be the sixth item i would mention i think the most recent set i was testing was buddy barrier choice specs wise glasses to get the most out of my special attack uh because pikachu could be a little weak otherwise um so yeah i'll have six options here for for pikachu <laughs> 
up next is charizard charizard is a mon that really benefits from energy amplifier because the increased damage after his unite move uh buddy barrier always good you're gonna see buddy barrier on, on almost every pokemon in this video muscle band to increase his basic attack speed razor claw actually really cool because he is a melee character so even though he's shooting out flames he is a physical attacker believe it or not and you can utilize those flames and things like that to actually have that decreased movement speed from razor claw as well as increased critical hit rate and scope lens also falls in line with that so his basic attack can actually critically hit and his secondary effect of blaze allows you to actually increase your critical rate when you drop below a certain amount of health so charizard really benefits from those things you could also make an argument for focus band as well for longevity i think there's definitely an argument there for charizard too big snorlax is up here and you're gonna definitely want to run focus band on him especially with his massive hp stat uh buddy barrier score shield if you're trying to get those scores in i think there's some value to muscle band and razor claw as well especially if you're running the flail set uh being able to get those uh basic attacks off faster and even uh have an, an added slow effect with razor claw can be really really good for the flail set so again we're trying to give you a multitude of options five or six options per pokemon depending on the move set you're running but i think focus band is definitely a must and then again it's just really hard to pass up on things like buddy barrier and score shield uh, but don't sleep on again razor claw on this guy uh, and don't sleep on muscle band either because i think that there's a lot of value to an offense of Snorlax. If there's one Pokemon I could talk about in this video the most, it's definitely Crustal. Uh, Crustal actually benefits from a lot of things. I would say the most recent thing, you gotta run Score Shield on it. Uh, Buddy Barrier is also really good, adding those extra shields. Um, I think that Scope Lens with Stealth Rock is very, very good. If you want to run the X Scissor set, you can look into things like Weakness Policy, Attack Weight if you're in lane to try to score, and then I think there's also some merit for Focus Band on this character. I've been trying to shy away from Focus Band and not rely on it as much. Uh, Crestle's a Pokemon that really benefits from an early game, um, but I would say if, you, if you're running the Stealth Rock set, I definitely think Scope Lens is something to consider. Um, and again, you have to have Score Shield in my opinion, and I feel like you're almost at a disadvantage if you're not running Buddy Barry on this. So, um, but you could also run, like I said, an X Scissor set with Weakness Policy and Attack Weight, get those six stacks, and you actually have some pretty serious damage with X Scissor. Greninja's up next. Greninja actually use it, utilizes Muscle Band to increase his attack uh, speed, Scope Lens to incre the, increase those critical hits, Razor Claw as well for critical hits and slows, Buddy Barrier obviously to support teams. I think there's an argument to be made for Floatstone here as well to increase your movement speed. I'm not a big Floatstone fan and the reason being is it actually only works when you're out of battle for a certain amount of time. It has a really awkward cooldown. So I tend to not recommend Floatstone, but this will be an instance where I guess you can throw it out there. And I think there's always merit to potentially suggest a Focus Band. But right now Greninja's are generally uh, kind of leaning towards those critical hit boosting items like Razor Claw, like Scope Lens um, and, and Muscle Band. So I would, I would definitely look at those when you're playing Greninja right now. This is another Pokemon that may seem a little strange, but Eldegoss actually runs Muscle Band a lot. There's a long cooldown between its uh, its uh, kind of spells, so you use a lot of basic attacks, and you can actually get that attack speed up quite a bit with Muscle Band. Focus Band, very good, obviously, for longevity. Buddy Barrier, almost essential when helping your team. A lot of Eldegoss run XP Share. I think there's a lot of value to running XP Share on it, but again, much like Blissey, depending on if you're a coordinated team, you either run XP Share or something else. And then I think you could also make an argument for Focus Band on, on this Pokemon. Or actually, I'm sorry, Score Shield on this Pokemon if you're trying to get some scores. But generally, I think you're pretty safe running uh, Muscle Band, XP Share, Buddy Barrier, and Focus Band or XP Share interchangeable, uh, depending on if you're playing with a team or not. Talonflame is a mod that actually got some pretty significant buffs and can utilize the jungle really well. This Pokemon utilizes Scope Lens and Razor Claw as a melee character. Uh, you can run Score Shield on it. Uh, there's some value to running like Score Shield with Attack Wade and things like that to boost your attack, but um, ultimately Muscle Band, very, very good. Focus Band, very, very good. It depends on the Talonflame set you're running. There's some times where Talonflame actually goes for like Gold Getter back caps a lot of the time, but now there's a like a more objective stealing Talonflame with Fly that kind of swoops in with Fluffy Tail and is stealing objectives like Dreadnought after jungling. So I would look at some of those different held items. Uh, like I said, Muscle Band, Razor Claw, Scope Lens for crits on its basic attacks. Uh, it could do quite a bit of damage on those. So I would recommend looking at that and the slowing effect could be really good um, in terms of how Talonflame plays. Lucario, of course, the premier Pokemon in the game. A lot of people running lane Lucario right now with attack weight because you can get those six attack weight stats really, really fast. Razor Claw is another one that's really beneficial on it. You could argue Score Shield is really good with attack weight, so you can guarantee those scores and get those six stacks with attack weight. Um, I think there's also value to Scope Lens for critical hits. And of course, Focus Band to stack on top of your steadfast passive ability to make it so this thing actually pretty much never dies. Um, definitely look into the attack weight set though. It's an item that I, I wouldn't recommend on a ton of Pokemon, but Lucario seems to use that item better than any Pokemon in the game right now. I'm pretty much a Venusaur main right now, so uh, we'll talk about this. I think Focus Band is definitely worthwhile in this thing. You really need that longevity if you're running the Petal Dance set with Giga Drain. Muscle Band, very, very good. Again, another Pokemon that really benefits from its basic attack, being able to hit that more often, especially since you can utilize that while you're using Petal Dance. 
Buddy Barrier, always good for team fights. And then I think there's an argument to be made with Wise Glasses, Energy Amplifier, and even maybe Shell Bell. I'll throw Shell Bell in the, in the conversation here. Not, uh, not the biggest Shell Bell fan. I'm gonna add it to my notes. Um, not the biggest Shell Bell fan because of the cooldown, but I think there's a world where the cooldown reduction from Energy Amplifier and Shell Bell give you enough to make it justifiable. I think Muscle Band is still better, but uh, I think we have a really good understanding of how to use utilize Venusaur. Uh, depending on if you're running the Solar Beam set and stuff, you'll want to either boost your special attack or focus on more damage kind of bruiser type build with the Petal Dance set. But Venusaur is one of the top Pokemon of the game after the most recent patch, and you got to get those items right. Mr. Mime is actually a character I have a lot of experience with as well. A uh, focus band always good for those early game laners. Buddy Barrier, really, really good on this Pokemon. Score Shield, super cool. You could argue uh, Choice Specs and Wise Glasses if you want to go a more offensive build with, with Mime as opposed to a more defensive build. And then Special Attack Specs gets a, a node here, which is the Special Attack variant of uh, Attack Weight but I'm pretty sure it's bugged right now. So just be very cautious if you're using special attack specs. I think it's actually decreasing your attack. Needs a little bit more testing, but I think the most recent patch actually messed that item up. So just be mindful there. Um, I would run probably, if it was me, Buddy Barrier, Choice Specs, Wide Glasses, or like I said, a more defensive set with Score Shield and Focus Band. If you're one of the, the few, the proud, the brave Slowbro players right now, Buddy Barrier, Focus Band, Score Shield, I guess you can make an argument for Energy Amplifier and Wise Glasses, uh, but generally most of these defenders are running the same thing. Buddy Barrier, Focus Band, and Score Shield. They're just, just the premier items for defender Pokemon. It's no surprise that Absol is gonna utilize the crit items with its Super Luck passive. Scope Lens, Razor Claw, Muscle Band, a no-brainer, and then you could argue Focus Band as well. I don't even think there's a fifth item on here because, I mean, I guess you could argue like an Attack Weight or something if you're laning, but probably not even worth it. Honestly, you need Scope Lens, you need Razor Claw, and then Muscle Band is just too good. Again, you could probably argue Focus Band as well, but this is a Pokemon that really just wants to benefit from those critical hits, so take advantage of them. This thing's a monster. Machamp is up next, and it's gonna utilize things like Muscle Band to increase that attack speed and damage, Razor Claw because it's a melee, uh, Scope Lens as well for critical hits, Focus Band for longevity, and I guess you could argue Score Shield if you're laning, if you want to get some scores in, uh, that could be really beneficial. I haven't seen a ton of like attack weight stacking. He takes too long to evolve to be able to benefit from that really. Um, and he's a little frail in the early game. So uh, generally, like I said, kind of take advantage of those critical hit items from a champ. Wigglytuff, an incredible support Pokemon uh, that's really an all arounder. Buddy Barrier, Focus Band, Score Shield, pretty straightforward on this one. You could argue Scope Lens if you're running Double Slap because you have the five hits to crit. Um, and then I guess you could argue Muscle Band as well for its basic attack, although it did get a lot of nerfs to its attack. So it's like Pound and things like that. So I'm not necessarily sold on that, but I think you're pretty safe running Buddy Barrier 100%, Focus Band for longevity, and Score Shield is always really nice on characters like this. Alolan Ninetales might surprise you with some of these, but Muscle Band is really good for that boosted auto attack, especially when you're using Aurora Veil, you actually get the boosted auto and you can attack faster. Buddy Barrier is just so good on everything. Um, scope Lens is actually a shout here because of those critical hits. Uh, believe it or not, Scope Lens can be really good on a little Nine Tails. Focus Band, and then I guess you can make an argument for Choice Specs if you want to go like a full offensive Nine Tails, but I think kind of the other items are better right now. Uh, Cramorant's a Pokemon that takes advantage of Energy Amplifier because of the damage increase after its Unite move. Focus Band for longevity. Buddy Barrier, always good in team fights. You can make an argument for Wise Glasses to boost its special attack and Choice Specs as well. Um, but I would say Energy Amp, Focus Band, Buddy Barrier are pretty straightforward on Cramorant right now. Gengar loves to wear his glasses. So Gengar is going to be rocking the Choice Specs, Wise Glasses. And then there's actually a few other items you can make arguments for depending on if you're jungle or laning. Uh, you can make an argument for Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, Score Shield maybe. Uh, Muscle Band as well. Uh, Muscle Band is actually kind of taken uh, a lot of popularity for this character for Gengar. So uh, Choice Specs, Wise Glasses, obviously to increase your damage output. And then again, you can kind of play with, you know, the other items if you're laning or jungling, uh, kind of fit whatever your playstyle is. Garchomp's one of the Pokemon that received the most benefits from the recent patch. Uh, Razor Claw being that, uh, exactly that, uh, giving that slow effect. And he's obviously got Lifesteal on his basic. Uh, muscle Band, Focus Band, Scope Lens, and Attack Weight. Uh, you could argue Attack Weight early gain in lane. Um, and I guess if you're running attack weight, you're probably gonna want score shield But generally speaking like I would probably stick to razor claw muscle band focus band scope lens as your couple items I think those are gonna help focus band really for the early game because otherwise like gimbal is gonna be struggling a little bit And last but certainly not least one of the premier ADCs in the game Cinderace Utilizing scope lens razor claw muscle band you could argue focus band and I guess if you're lane You could also make an argument for attack weight as well again really try to take advantage of that attack speed and those critical hits on your basic 
Um, and obviously it has the, the the benefit of running things like blaze kick which can crit or do crit so uh, that that's your basic rundown on cinderace as well so we obviously just went through every single pokemon in the game and what items we think are the best the top five or six in some cases items for most pokemon somewhere narrowed down to four um so then the question now is what are the best items to get to level 30 and there's some items that benefit from level 30 than more than other items if you're somebody who wants to play absol or one of these characters that i mentioned utilize critical hits you're probably going to want to get your scope lens to level 30. scope lens is one of the items that benefits the most from being level 30 simply because of the percentage crit chance that difference between like a five or a six percent crit chance can make a huge difference in a game so that's one of the items i would recommend to level 30 if you're a player who wants to play the pokemon that utilize scope lens I think it's always a safe bet some of the best items in the game muscle band you saw it throughout this entire countdown focus band buddy barrier is probably the biggest one you cannot go wrong with muscle band buddy barrier focus band if i were to pick three score shield's another one that's one that you can get to level 20 and it's not going to like kill you if it's not 30. and then again i mentioned scope lens as just an item that really benefits the most from being level 30 compared to some of these other items so if it was me if i was a new player and i was like a drop what three items should i get to get the most out of this game with those three super item enhancers i would say muscle band focus band and buddy barrier at this point in the game i don't think you're going wrong with those you could easily switch out one of those if you're someone who knows you want to play like an Absol Cinderace, some of those characters that are really utilizing scope lens. That's a really good item to get to 30. And again, Score Shield is just a super good item on any of the defensive or supportive type Pokemon. So tailor this to kind of your play style and what you're feeling. But I felt like this was a really good breakdown, especially for newer players who are looking for a little bit of direction on what items you want to focus on. I know we got those big three super item enhancers and uh, you do get refunded by the way for any item enhancer. So what I actually did is I took my level 29 items and I used my super item enhancer to get them to level 30, which might sound stupid, but then I got refunded for all that 29 levels of item enhancers so I can get every single one of my items to level 20, right? And without spending any more money. So, cause once they're 20, you're generally good enough to function, right? So that's what I would recommend. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys want to see my tier list video, I just did a full tier list breakdown. Again, sorry I'm a little sick under the weather, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to like the video if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new for daily Pokemon content. And I do stream Unite every single day on twitch.tv slash adrive. Let me know your thoughts if you think I missed anything, or if you've had uh, any success with anything different in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.